Hey there, parents. Welcome to Little Kids Lessons. Today, we're diving into a topic that might be keeping you up at night, the 8-month sleep regression. If your little one has suddenly started waking up more often or struggling to fall asleep, you're not alone. This sleep hiccup is a common occurrence for babies between 8 and 10 months old. So, what exactly is the 8-month sleep regression? It's a period when your previously good sleeper starts experiencing sleep disruptions. They may wake up multiple times during the night, crying for attention or needing a cuddle. Putting them back to bed can feel like a never-ending battle. You might also notice that your baby is taking longer to drift off to dreamland and even refusing naps. But don't worry, this sleep regression isn't just a random occurrence. It's often triggered by some exciting developmental milestones. At around 8 months, babies are learning and growing at an incredible pace. They're starting to crawl, pull themselves up, and explore their surroundings with newfound curiosity. All these amazing achievements can lead to a lot of excitement and stimulation, which can make it harder for them to settle down and sleep. Another culprit behind the 8-month sleep regression is teething. Those pearly whites are starting to make their appearance, and the discomfort that comes with it can disrupt your baby's sleep. If you notice excessive drooling, chewing, and red gums, teething might be the reason behind those nighttime wake-ups. Hunger can also play a role in sleep disruptions. Even though your baby is now enjoying a variety of solid foods, breast milk or formula still makes up a significant portion of their diet. Make sure your little one is getting enough milk during the day to prevent those hungry wake-ups at night. So, how long does this sleep regression last? Well, it can vary from a few days to a few weeks, or even months if not handled properly. But don't let that discourage you. There are several strategies you can use to navigate the sleep challenge like a pro. First and foremost, create a soothing sleep environment. White noise can work wonders in helping your baby relax and drift off to sleep. Opt for low-pitched, consistent sounds that are reminiscent of the womb. If hunger seems to be the issue, try adding some extra healthy fats to your baby's evening meals. Avocado or a small amount of olive oil mixed into their dinner can help keep their tummies full and satisfied throughout the night. And don't forget to ensure they're getting enough milk or formula during the day, too. For teething troubles, a frozen washcloth can be a lifesaver. Dip a corner of a rough washcloth into some apple juice, freeze it, and let your baby gnaw on it to relieve those sore gums. If the pain persists, consult with your pediatrician about using an appropriate pain reliever. Pacifiers can also be a great source of comfort for babies during the sleep regression. Toss a few extras into their crib so they can easily find one when they need it. The sucking motion has an incredible calming effect on babies, helping to lower their heart rate and reduce stress levels. When it comes to lighting, find what works best for your baby. Some little ones sleep better in a completely dark room, while others find comfort in a dim night light. If you opt for a night light, choose one with a warm, reddish glow, as it won't interfere with melatonin production like white or blue light can. If your baby is still struggling to fall asleep, try adjusting their bedtime. Move it earlier if they seem overtired and cranky during the day, or later if they don't show signs of sleepiness at their usual bedtime. And if all else fails, sleep training might be worth considering. But don't worry, it doesn't have to involve letting your baby cry it out. There are gentle methods that can help your little one learn to self-soothe and fall asleep independently. Remember, every baby is different, and what works for one might not work for another. Be patient, consistent, and don't be afraid to experiment with different strategies until you find what works best for your family. The 8-month sleep regression can be a challenging time, but it's also a sign that your baby is growing and developing in incredible ways. Celebrate those milestones, even if they come with a few sleepless nights. And know that this phase, like all others, will eventually pass. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like and share this video with other sleep-deprived parents out there. And don't forget to subscribe to Little Kids Lessons for more parenting tips and tricks.